and welcome to my channel. This reading will be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the month of July. We're just doing a general check-in to see what's coming up for you guys in the new month. And I need to remind you that it is a general reading so it may not resonate with everyone. Also it is timeless and it is not gender specific. So don't get stuck on genders or things like that. Okay, we're going to be pulling nine cards and then we will do one, we'll check which one is at the bottom of the deck just to get the general theme for your reading. So let's have a look for Libra for July. That nine of pentacles is being a pest. <laughs> like it's come up in almost every single reading I've done so far. Maybe it's a message for me. I'm just going to take it because my moon sign is Libra. I don't know why that's come up for every single sign almost. I should really go back and have a look. Okay, for Libra, for July. Strength reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo, not necessarily. I really hope this video is not going to just cut off in the middle because that's what happened yesterday with Pisces. So I ended up doing the reading in two parts. Five of Wands reversed. I had that with another sign yesterday. Mm, the cards just want to fly out here. Eight of Wands reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Five of Swords also has been one of those cards that just shows up everywhere or has been showing up everywhere. Don't know why. Five. The numbers five and nine, people, they are relevant to all the zodiac signs, it looks like. Okay, the hanged man in the upright. Come okay, three more cards for Libra. Please don't cut me off. Camera. Six of swords for Libra. For Libra for July. Just bear with me. This takes some time to get the cards out. They don't always want to come out. Eight of Cups reversed. Wow, these two I want to say are very similar. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. Very, very similar. Walking away energy, leaving something behind the star. And at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Ten of Swords. Proper Ten of Swords, not reversed. Alright, so for you guys, I'm feeling like, again, this, this is not for all the Libras around. But I'm getting for some of you that someone stabbed you in the back. Or you're feeling defeated. We see it here with that Strength card being in reverse too. I feel like in the month of July, you are feeling quite deflated. You're not feeling as energetic as you used to be. You're feeling quite down, deflated, defeated is what I'm hearing, weak. Let's think, let's see what it is that's making you guys feel like this. Right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, that card that I said has been coming up for everyone. So I feel like this talks about luxury and wealth and showing off your wealth to others, maybe being a bit boastful. I feel like in this reading it's just talking about... Libras in general, I know, seeing as my moon sign is Libra, we like beautiful things, if that makes sense. We appreciate the beauty in the world. But I'm feeling like with everything that's going on in the world currently, we can't really afford the luxuries we used to be able to afford. We can't live the lives we used to be able to live. We can't treat ourselves as much as we used to be able to. And maybe that's what's been affecting you. You're not able to achieve the things that you used to be able to achieve because of everything that's been going on. With the Five of Wands in reverse, when it's in the upright, it's about small petty arguments, bickering, mock fights, nothing serious. But then it could also mean a combined effort. So different people jumping in to help or clubbing in, working together towards a common goal. 
but it's in the reverse. So I don't know if you, Libra, are feeling very alone or will be feeling very alone in the month of July. You're feeling like you're not getting help from other people the way you used to. Perhaps you're needing help from other people or you could be the one rejecting help from others because you're feeling like, I need to do this all on my own. And you're rejecting communication too. K with the eight of ones in reverse. This is normally fast incoming communication and it's back and forth communication. It's texting, it's social media, it's dating apps. But it's not one sided when it is in the reverse, it is one sided. So I'm feeling like you guys are blocking communication from someone or ghosting someone perhaps. This person who stabbed you guys in the back, you blocking them from your life because they made you feel weak. They made you feel less strong. I don't know if there's a Leo, because strength is the Leo card. Don't know if there's a Leo in your life, but I'm feeling like this is to do with a relationship where someone did you wrong and you're trying to cut them off in the month of July. Because there was maybe too much competition going on and you couldn't do it anymore. You were fighting a losing battle with this person. I just had this card with for Gemini. It's five of swords in reverse. It's literally saying that you are taking a step back and saying it's a losing battle. There is no victory for me. I can't win. So I'm walking away. That is literally what I'm seeing here. With the hanged man, it's you being in limbo. Almost not really moving, not taking any step towards any direction or any step in any direction, just being in limbo, in suspension, maybe seeing something from a different perspective because now you're seeing things clearly. And these are the two walking away cards right there. Six of swords, eight of cups reversed. This is you taking a journey, taking a break from something or someone could be there could be a child involved because there is a child with a mother in this card and they're taking a journey if not it is you just taking a break from this person I'm not saying it's permanent it could be just a break because the actual reason why I'm saying that is the eight of cups is not in the upright this is literally you walking away forever from a situation but you're staying for some reason, or you're thinking, let's just take a break. Let me block this person. Let me take a break. If it's fated, the person will come back to me. If it's meant to be, it will be. But if not, I need to not be thinking about that person right now. I need to not be texting them. I need to just not give them any of my attention. I just want to hang around. Literally, I see you hanging around. Or that person is still hanging around waiting for you. And you're kind of indecisive because you're taking a break, but you're not wanting to leave this person permanently. Wow, this is really interesting. I must say, it's one of the more interesting readings I've done in the last two days. Okay, I still have a few more minutes. I just want to think... What else I can see here? Oh, with a star here, this person could be an Aquarius, but not necessarily. Could be Pisces with the Hanged Man. Could be Leo with the Strength card. I'm seeing a lot of air energy and also some water energy here. Because although this is an air card, this person is moving on a river. They're crossing a river. So... There's a lot of water. Also with this Eight of Cups, the moon is in that card. The moon features in the card. So although it's not the moon card itself, which is Pisces energy, Pisces Cancer energy, I feel like whenever the moon shows up, it's like something was hidden and it's now being revealed. I don't see any infidelity or cheating cards here like the Seven of Swords. But something that this person did to you really hurt you and you perhaps weren't aware of it at the very beginning, but then the hidden things 
revealed themselves and that is what prompted this whole thing this whole walking away and once again this might have happened already or it may be happening now in the month of July it could just mean that your energy is carrying through from June into July and this is still your current energy anyways I hope that made sense and it resonated with at least a few of you Thank you so much for watching and please stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.